Hello, everybody. Welcome to back and to the finale of the Chalk and Ultra Challenge. This is it. Make it or break it. Um, either I play these at levels and deal with it, or I give up like a crying little baby. My bet is on the latter, but you know what? We're here to prove everybody wrong. So here we go. Dark riders and winged beasts block my way to death's realm. Let no man bar my path, lest his... Lest he Lest he meet his maker. Okay. Neither flesh nor electricity shall hinder me. Is there fucking lightning? What? No, it looks the same as all the other air levels. <laughs> all the other levels go from sudden shifts in environment, and this is just like, nah, it's the same. Fuck off! Who are you? Who are these guys? What are they doing here? I can't even attack them, but they're not hurting me. What? I can ride on these things? Okay, cool. There we go. Something actually different. Give some merit to these alternate levels. Good fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, come on! So this is like Blues Brothers on the SNES, huh? Can't touch any walls or you fall off the goddamn thing. He's trying to shoot me! He has a gun! What?! Fuck this guy! No. It's honestly way easier to attack with, with the spinning sword attack than it is the, um, with sitting on the B. Or whatever the hell this bug is. No! Shit! Okay, that's fantastic! You can literally phase through the fucking laser. You can just be like, no, it doesn't fucking matter. Why bother putting these things in the level if you can just evade them anyway? But this thing's control is ass. It doesn't sit the fuck still. If this thing just sat the fuck still... Okay, there are potions in this little alcove. No, they're not. Of course there aren't. Of course there are no fucking potions in these alcoves. Why make these levels... Why put these things here if there are no potions to grab? What the...
Okay, before I sound like I'm about to go insane. I might have just broken it or not. That's good too. I could just not break it. God damn it. I'm trying to take my bee friend down here. Look, Mr. Bee Man didn't do anything wrong. He's like, oh guys, Plasus, Plasus, after time. Um, I'm just trying to have a good time, you know, in the, in the pond. Ah! Ow. Having the headset on is really hurting my ears. Fine, there's no fucking reason to go in here. Okay. Okay. It's fine, I'm glad he shot me down here as opposed to up there. Otherwise, what if I just wait seven years to get all the way down there? As opposed to just moving. This is the beginning of the level, I just realized. This is the fucking beginning of the level. I just win a giant goddamn circle! Are you fucking kidding me? I went around in a circle? Nobody told me this! What? How the fuck are you supposed to know that this, this level's a goddamn maze? THEY'RE ALL MAZE LEVELS! This game is testing my fucking patience right now. This game is actually testing my fucking patience. Neither flesh nor electricity shall hinder me. So that's the electricity! Lasers! I'm gonna have my thing here. Ow! My ears hurt. <sighs> Okay, so you go past that tower, which, yeah, you are intended to go through them. So up through the bypass there, up through the two guys, over to the left. What the fuck? That whole right side of the level is just one giant fucking ruse? Are you... <sighs> oh, okay, I think this is the worst level of all of them. Uh, literally every single level this one barely edges out because it actually fucks with you nothing else compares to this shit no be friend come at me no just get down! Just... Just goddamn thing. Uh, uh, just get the fuck out there! Okay, there. God damn it. This level played me for a goddamn fiddle. I wasted all that fucking time in the level. And it stacks. So that's gonna be in every single level, huh? So they're all like this? No, no, fuck no. 
No wonder this guy tackled them last. They're bullshit. I killed the enemy behind a wall. So, I don't think you can kill these guard dudes. I lost half. I feel like this kills you. <laughs> I knew it. I knew the fuckery this game was gonna pull. Holy fuck, this game pulls no punches. No, no. Was this ever released on like a Sonic, like a Sega Mega collection or something? Like the Sonic Genesis collection or whatever? Oh, yes. Okay. I mean, because I don't know who developed this game. I don't know who the developers of it are. God damn it. I finally find a befriend. Let me get on my befriend. Why do these levels have to be like this? This is fucking dumb. Ah! <laughs> okay, so the B so B friend can ram into the shit, but Shockin can't. Okay. Seems legit, bro. Actually, you can shove the stinger into their heads and they'll die. Never mind, they actively injure you over time. Get fucked. Okay, before I do anything else, I should probably look up where I'm supposed to go. Please, God, tell me I'm going the right way. Okay, I am going the right way. So how do you get through? You can just barely squeeze through with the befriend and making it through. Okay. God damn it. God damn it, son of a bitch! Oh, oh my god! Get the fuck off of me! I'm gonna fucking hug the left side of the stage after what I saw last level. Oh no, I get dicked if I do that. I get double dicked. I get triple dicked. Here's Chalkin the Forever Man giving us the finest of all dickerins. And boy, howdy, isn't it a good time? This level is just one. All these, both of the, all the air levels are just one giant fucking endurance test. Just to see how fucking much you can take before you want to plow a goddamn hole into your TV. Oh my fucking god, this cliffside just does not. does not want to cooperate! Fuck this game. Fuck the hell out of this game. Did I mention? I think I should mention this. This game, to, in my opinion, it sucks. Like, there's... Well, I mean, it doesn't suck, but there's so much wrong with it. Fundamentally. That I cannot believe they actually released it in the state it was. It's like, horrible collision detection. Shit-ass level design. No, because so much of this game's difficulty is in the level design. You have no fucking clue where to go. Most of the time, you have no fucking clue where to go! Like, this level, I'm seriously guessing where the fuck I have to go. This is unacceptable. For every little thing to just be guesswork. Yes! Thank you. When it should be simple enough and easy to comprehend. Like, it should- you don't have to make everything self-explanatory. 
But at the same time, there's, 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 there's contrast between making a level that's super easy and a level that's super fucking difficult. And usually, people can spot the difference of the fucking bullshit-ass difficult one compared to the easy one. Gamers and other people like them aren't that stupid. We aren't that dumb to realize that you made your level too fucking difficult or too fucking easy. And then I have to fight a fucking boss on the B-Friend. I mean, B-Friend, B-Friend, no disrespect to B-Friend, because I love B-Friend. He's, he's all right with me. He's just like, the, the guy, the other guys that ride them, though, are fucking dickheads. God damn it. All right, I feel like I'm going the wrong way. God damn it! Fuck! I- uh, How am I supposed to see where these fucking walls are? It's fine, I got the potion. So it's all good in the hood. Hope to god the last boss does not require any use of potions. I killed my befriend. Fuck you. Fuck this game. You killed my befriend! You're an ass! <laughs> God. I can only move forward two fucking inches before I hit the ground! And then I went in another circle. Okay, can these fucking stages... Oh my fucking god, STOP IT! These tiny little purple shits are the worst. Oh, god damn. Oh my god, the momentum is so jacked up. It's like either you move two fucking inches and it's it, and that's it, then you have to fucking try again, or the fucking guy launches himself into a goddamn wall and you can't do anything. It's honest to god bullshit. Like, look at this! I can't- I- I cannot. You are forcing me to fight, like, five enemies on beef- on the beef friend. And you have- uh. oh, of course I get shot. I didn't realize they have guns! Like, I thought this game had, like, a medieval, like, Japanese tone. Like, ancient times, like, alchemy, you know, it has rings of, like, alchemy and sorcery and friggin' mythology, it, like, bleeds, you know, like, ancient culture, you know, this could be, like, a good game for, like, lore. But no, it's fucking wasted by laser towers and guys with machine guns! You blew your mythos! Which was pretty much gift wrapped for you. And guess what? When I get to the boss, I'll have no health. All I will have is zero health for the boss. Because the bolt because the level design is bullshit. The level design sucks so bad to where it makes the boss pretty much impossible to fight. Cause you have to play through such a shitty difficult level. Alright, I may as well just get another bee friend. Or maybe I can figure out where to go. That's what I can do. Is fuck it, figure out is figure out where to go. I mean I mean if he's running on a straightaway to get to the end, okay. So he jumped up the ground oh yeah, there's a red potion, but how many red potions? I have two red potions, okay. So I have enough for stuff. So you're go supposed to go to the right? You're supposed to go up through the right? Actually, I did. I did that. Okay, up through that guard tower. Okay, I did that. Except if you keep going up, you hit a dead end. So, 
You're supposed to go through this narrow hallway. You are supposed to go through that narrow passageway. You are supposed to go through there. Okay, ain't that fortunate. Ain't that fucking beautiful. Okay, except you waste your bee friends. Okay, so go through the right. Plasma swords. Oh boy. Well, um, guess what? I am required to have a potion. Does this guy die quickly? I hope to God he dies quickly. Alright, fine, be friend. You have to be gone. But this is only temporary, as I am getting a new you. I'm getting a new you. I switch over to the swords. Fucking machine gun guys, of course he would just shoot me to death. Okay, so, fuck. I, I just need... I mean, honestly, I might have convinced Magus to play this game. Like, especially because I'm going to upload this when I beat it. Because there's no way I'm not going to take a beat of this game. Like, I'm at the last air level, and then after this is one boss fight. Or, I don't know, maybe it's like another level and then the final boss. But, are you... Arr! Why do enemies blind aside you? That's fucking irritating. I thought I was just save stating in the open. Like, there was no threat. There was no visible threat. And then that stupid writer guy obviously just had to show up in the nick of time to knock me off my bee friend. God, fuck off. This guy didn't have nearly as many issues as him. Okay, here. Fuck off. How do I get a plasma sword? Is it this one? I don't know. You know what? Fuck you. You know what? You get... Fuck you. I don't give a fuck about you. Okay. Uh, that's lightning. That's fire. Okay, it's double red. So apparently you can just shoot him. This doesn't seem correct. So eventually he'll just charge at you. Alright, so when he starts squealing like an asshole, that... Oh, shit. Oh, god damn it. Every time I go for the save state button, he goes for the goddamn charge attack. Every time! It's psychic! Yeah, a bunch of room below me. Oh, no, I'm really regretting not taking that red potion. God. Yeah! I beat him. There we go. It is quiet. All too much time has passed since my first meeting with death. 
and I am weary. I have rid the elemental and terrestrial planes of evil and await my reward. There ain't no reward. It would seem all darkness has been destroyed. Only now may I seek my rest eternal. I don't think so. I think death has a few words to say about that. I have no clue how to beat death. If I can beat death legit with, like, no fucking screw rounds, then whatever. What? That's it? No, there's no way. There's no way that's the end. Oh, uh, oh, this fucking game. I just looked at it. You can't be serious. You have to play the entire credit sequence based on characters created by Robert Kraus Rack Graphics. Okay. Special thanks to Clyde Grossman, Steve Apoor. Okay, can I just... Is that Sega of America Software Test Department? Mark Lindstrom... Okay. Joe Kane. Of course it is. Siege Stangenberg? <laughs> Alright, Ma Ma Martin Kaj Kajnock. Alright. K&L Catering. And you. Alright. And Rack Graphics Comics. Okay, so he was a comic book character. Alright. Cool. So apparently, this game wants to fuck with you. I almost just reverted the whole credit sequence back. Alright, here we go. Let's get back to the game. Because we all know this ain't over yet. The mocking laugh of the Dark One. Death! Shocking. It has taken you a long time to come to this. You said, you said when all the beasts of the Dark were slain that I would have my wrist. <laughs> now let me show you the totality of your curse, Chalkin. Uh oh. Look above you. See the countless stars above, each surrounded by worlds like yours. Worlds thick with supernatural evils. There are so many and so far away, and you are stuck on this m on this moat of dust, waiting to reach them. Waiting such a long time. Waiting forever. Oh my god. Yeah, death is a dick. <laughs> Okay, no more fucking around. Death comes. Not all evil has been destroyed! Just go to the right. What the fuck even is this thing? How the fuck? Oh! Okay, I see it. I might need to use a potion. I'll use the fireball potion. But apparently they use the, um, title screen music, and I don't know why. Yeah, this guy is definitely a boss, meaning he takes 70,000 hits. Okay, there we go. Fuck this goddamn tiny little cork. Fuck this corkscrew thing. So if I can beat death halfway through, I'm gonna... Well, not halfway through, all the way through, in one, in one shot then I'll give myself the W. Alright, honestly, it's best to just keep your distance and do this, because the corkscrew only does half your health. It does half of life when the lightning does all of it. So this is what death looks like. What the fuck? Thank you. 
No! I almost had it! Screw you, death. I must have my revenge. I must have my vengeance! This is for Castlevania 3! It's not out yet when I'm recording this, but it should be out for you guys. Ugh! Ugh! No! Okay, I did it. No. No. No! My god, I get hit so freaking fast. Alright, eventually, if I can just get both of those heads dead... The problem with this boss is it just it takes so much damage. battle, like, if this is partially like the first battle with Chalkin and Death, like, I'm surprised how Chalkin managed to win. <laughs> if he was just a man. Like, if he was just a man who was good at fighting. Oh, I just murked myself. I just fucking played myself. <sighs> this fight is so difficult, but literally only because death takes all these goddamn hits. It just oh, it takes so goddamn fucking long to kill his ass! And then right here, it's just... Killed him! There we go. Okay. So I'm gonna save you the trouble. I'm just gonna edit this in post. Uh, basically, let's just uh just skip forward uh 15 minutes. Not really. All right. So in 10 seconds, let, let's just count this out. All right. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Three, two, one, not the end. <laughs> That's all you get. You have to wait on the screen for 15 minutes just for that. And honestly, there's no point for that. But we did it! I'm going to give myself a big healthy W because I beat death without, you know, without save stating halfway through, without doing anything. I beat the final boss legit. Like, no bullshit. I figured it out myself. But anyway... That was Chalkin the Forever Man. My fucking Jesus, I hate this game. It is super hard for all the wrong reasons. It has horrible collision detection. It has terrible level design. Terrible enemy design and enemy placement. Everything works against you. Um. So, yeah. Uh. I want to thank all of you guys for being with me on this journey, but there's one person I have to thank, and that's Blue Magus. Because now that this is beat, he now gets to do it. <laughs> he is now going to be forced to do this shit. <laughs> you know what? 
I ain't that mad right now! So anyway, I'll see you all next time. Only you can prevent forest fires. <laughs>